What? Nothing. Can you see me? Yes. Even though I'm wearing black? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't want it to... No, I know. If anything, you see that big poof of blonde hair. Baby! You know I love you. You know I love the blonde. The blonde ambition. Cup of ambition! I used to think that that said, pour myself a cup of damn bitchin'. No, you did. I did. I had no idea what it meant. Oh my gosh. What does that even mean? What is a cup of damn bitchin'? <laughs> I'll show you a cup of damn bitchin'. <laughs> Hey! Hi! Episode 4 of Rum Runners. 4. This is Luke. And this is LJ. Boss lady. So today... We can drink again! Uh, my back's feeling a lot better. Um, still twingy every now and then, but that's why God invented rum. So, today we are discussing... Tasting, trying, reviewing. Mm -hmm. Pampero Anniversario Reserve Especial. We went a little snazzy today. Yeah, we did. So this is a Venezuelan rum, as the book says. Founded in Venezuela in 1938. This anniversa anniversary edition, I'm not going to try to say it in Spanish. Anniversario... Uh, was launched in 1963 to commemorate the 25th anniversary. It's that old? Yeah. Well, this one specifically might not be, but this blend, this oh, okay. was launched. Yeah. So. Um, I'm learning so much about yeah, rum. I know, right? It's. Say, he says, you will be able to tell as soon as you open it. It's maturity and funkiness i love he uses the word funky, oh my so. god i don't want any funky funky is good though for no, wrong no. it's a good thing for wrong no it, ginger beer to me is funky <laughs> no. no ginger beer is gross so the first thing to note is the packaging of course that's we pretty love spectacular the packaging. this is awesome and this little leather pouch is going to get some use afterwards i don't know what for probably some nerdy dungeons and dragons crap. Ooh! Dice can go yeah. in there. So, here it is. This is a beautiful bottle, beautiful label. Um, the seal on it is gorgeous. It says. Is it wax? I don't think so. You want to peel it off? Well, I just wanted to see what it was. It says 1938 stamped on, which is when it was founded. So, it's obviously darker. Um, I have to oh. look and see. It's a little bit dark it's it says it's bold and complex it's not telling me exactly how long it was it's funky it was aged, aged for. for right um but we are looking at a 80 proof oh that's the highest one we've done so far is it the other ones were 30 and 40 i believe okay well this is 40% alcohol by volume. That's 80 Oh, so it's it's what we It's do. the same. Right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get in here. Let me... I, it's one of those types of bottles you almost don't want to open because it's so pretty. Open it. But... Open it. Let's open it. Then we think... Open it. Open it. Then we think, <laughs> who are we? And we Rum runners! It. We open it anyway. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Are we going to smell the cork? That's oh yeah. Funky. funky comedy. Oh, you can smell it. There's you can smell banana in there. I smell banana and I smell I do. Oh my god. <laughs> you gonna do show with me or not? 
I smell rum. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't smell banana. <laughs> I'm impressed that you do, but I, I don't. So. Okay, I just noticed this thing has three levels of teeth. Well, he's a badass. Don't fuck with him. All right. You can't say that on air. Oh, don't mess with him. All right, we're going to... Edit that out. I will. Bleep it. Okay. Okay. I just noticed this thing has three levels of teeth. Well, he's a badass. Don't f*** him. So, this is a family show. So, Broom says that this one is definitely a take your time and sip kind of rum. So I'm not going to do a shot. It's, it smells, it's got definite heavy smell. Smooth. That's very smooth. I'm waiting. Oh, I um I don't I don't believe unless it's an eight or a twelve year rum that I would sip it. You don't believe you would mm -mm. Okay. Be it just tastes like alcohol. I mean it's just alcohol. I don't taste anything other than alcohol. So um, I would not personally sip it. Okay. I'd throw it in something else. Okay. Yeah. I like how smooth it is. It's not overbearing. It is warm. I mean, it's warm. It's definitely 40% yeah. alcohol, but, um. It's not bad. I it doesn't burn. It. No. Like, it doesn't have and that burn. No, and it doesn't have a, um, like a black rum taste to it no. it doesn't have an earthy rum taste i mean i can taste the barrel but it's not overpowering right yeah so as as dark as it looks it's not aged doesn't have that oaky aged like barrel charred barrel taste right. to it right at all it's right much smoother in that sense right yeah right <laughs> i'm <laughs> i'm tasting some caramel i not a little bit of caramel in there okay yeah do you taste the bananas? No. I smell them. I do smell banana in there. I smell banana. That actually, there's almost, I know it sounds weird, but there's almost a, kind of a peanut butter smell and a little bit of leather. Did you read leather. that somewhere? No. Do it you does, smell do you bergamot? Sm bergamot? Yeah. The leathery smell. Do you smell that? Can you? I smell rum. Oh my God. Well, I just can't. No. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> no, I smell, <laughs> I just smell rum. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be kind of a short review today because... Why is that? I'm glad you asked. Broom says that you really shouldn't mix this one. Uh, the first three mixes, coconut water, ginger beer, and the clementine juice just don't work. Everything, it doesn't mix right, doesn't taste right, doesn't do the rum any favors. Um, says this one is to be respected, sipped. He said what did work, though, mm -hmm. was rum and coke. Yes. Which so. makes us happy, so... Makes us very happy. We're going to go for that. Okay, just do me half, because remember we had that conversation. Yes, we're going to okay. put it there. Okay. Half. Half. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and pop them in. Pouring in front of you this time since it's a shorter, <laughs> shorter episode. We've got time to kill. So how you doing? I'm doing good, baby. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. So. You got more soda than me. Well, now you got more rum than you had to start with. Okay. Okay. So cheers. Cheers. Let's try this. Oh, wow. Yeah. I 
I think it adds a lot. These two complement each other well. The cola flavor. The coke. Yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would too. I, I like it. It's not... <clears throat> you know how, like with Captain Morgan, it's you can taste... That's a Coke with Captain Morgan spiced rum in it. Yeah. This is Coke with something more to yes. it. You know, it's like... Yeah, it's not a rum and Coke, yeah. but it's it's got a good... Um, it adds it layers. It has a good finish. Yeah. yeah it, it adds it has, Yeah. I like that's that. a good one. It does add layers. That, that's a good, that's a good thing. It, it's like, oh, that's, that's this good. This is definitely mm -hmm. smooth. Very good. So Broom gives the rum and Coke, uh, this one, rum and Coke, uh, five. And I'm going to give it a five. Yeah? Yeah. And you're going to give it? The Funky Disco Dancers. The Funky Disco Dancers. Yeah, because this is pretty good. And it's funky. <laughs> I spell that F U N K A Y. Funky. funky. <laughs> All right. That was good. Yeah. This one is good. I. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So we started last, not last episode, last review episode, episode yeah. two, throwing price points up there. Oh. Well, I Where think it depends we on, on the one? store. Um, that one's 30, 38. This was a 30. So you're looking at a $40 bottle of rum here mm -hmm. as opposed to what we've had before, which is t mid twenties to 30. Yeah. 30 I'd say bucks. 20 to 25. So this is a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. I would say definitely worth it. I would too. Hmm. That's the first time I've said that. She, yeah. I would too. It, it gives it a really round, it, it just finishes, it complements it very nicely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I almost get the caramel, 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 whatever, <laughs> yeah. um, at the end. So I do. I like that one a so lot. So you're, you're seeing, yeah. seeing I'm, the layers I'm there. a fan. There I'm, hey, I'm all for the leather bag. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting to step it up a little bit, I definitely recommend, excuse me, Pempero Anniversario. Anniversary. Anniversario. Anniversario. Yep. Pempero. Anniversary. Reserva Exclusiva. Yeah. No, and I like that. We're going to, um, just to let you know that our official rum supplier supplier is Mount Airy Liquors. So yeah. um, cheers to cheers you all. Cheers to Mount Airy Liquors. Um, and we're going, we've almost, like they have a whole bunch of rums, um, but not in the book. Yeah, not so, the ones that are in here. So um, I think we're going to have to start um, ordering ordering them. And they said they special order whichever ones we want. So we're going to probably give them a list and have them price it. <laughs> so we'll be working our way up into yes. the, the more pricey rums. Yeah, but um, that's, it's good. I like yeah. it. This is definitely a, a highly recommended. Yeah. And then keep it on your shelf, pull it out for special occasions kind of thing. Or a Friday night. Or a Friday night. Mm hmm So. Yes. Our friends at Mount Airy Liquors. Yes pointed us to our bonus drink for tonight. Yes, they did. So it's Kenny Chesney's. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. You can probably make it. I think I can make it. You can probably make it. I hope I can. Um, it's Kenny Chesney. Oh, I got stabbed by the light. I'm telling you. I every mean, time I walk by. Every time. Every time he walks by, there's like a, a light. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this right here for right now. Um, we were excited. I, what was really neat was we walked in and the lady behind the counter went, Rum Runners! <laughs> so she was, while we were choosing the rum to do, she says, Kenny Chesney's, what is it? Go ahead. It's Blue Chair Bay. Kenny Chesney's had rum out for a while, his brand, yes. uh, Blue Chair Bay. But apparently they just released the Spice. Caribbean rum. Caribbean rum. Um, and I have to say, already, it's very light. Yeah. Like, the spiced rums are normally darker. A little bit darker. So, I'm very interested. Um, plus, it says new, uh, No Shoe Nation. Yeah, um, yeah let's, let's... I'm excited about this. So, we're going to give this one a shot. I'm yeah. going to put this over here because I definitely... And you know me and spiced rum. I, I love a good spiced rum. Yes. So, we just got this tonight. Thank you, Mount Airy Liquors. We're going to... Yeah. Check it out. All you Kenny Chesney fans out there, if we're gonna check this out and see how it how it is. 
So oh, the thing... look! The sticker says Poets and Pirates. Mm. Oh, I like that. That's his, that's his brand. That's his thing. I like it. Um, well, you want to do a shot first, right? Yeah, Let's we're going to do, do a, a shot, shot first. first of this one. I'm interested. <clears throat> so as we've stated before, Boss Lady's favorite is the spiced rum. The spiced rum is She good. loves spiced rum. And unfortunately, um, it, Broom doesn't feel like there's any spiced rums good enough to go in the book. So we might just do my bonus drink tonight. Oh, it is our bonus drink tonight. Mm -hmm. Are we using these glasses? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, we're not. Give me. Ah. You got confused because we only had one, one, one drink. This is so light to be a spiced rum. I know. I know we got to. Oh, smell that. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. I smell, it smells like pumpkin spice. I don't get pumpkin spice. I'm the happiest when my soul is still down in the islands where nowhere with nowhere to go and nowhere to be. That's where I met one of the world's great master blenders to capture the spirit and bottle it up. Drop anchor, swim ashore, and let time fly. Kenny Chesney. Oh. So you smell. I totally pumpkin? smell pumpkin spice. Oh. Um, like the spice. Um, like it spell, all smells spice. like. Yeah, all spice. Yeah. Let me wow. See. Let me see. I'm going to smell it here. See, I'm definitely. I can, yeah, I can. Yeah, smell. it's like a pumpkin There's pie. There's kind of an allspice in there. It does smell like Thanksgiving. It does smell like Thanksgiving. Why, why does my rum smell like Thanksgiving? A little bit of nutmeg. Sure. This is definitely. I've not smelled. I can. No, I can I've say not. This. I've never smelled a spiced rum like this. Mm -mm. I'm excited. To try I this. know. This. So what? What I like okay. about it is a lot of times you have to figure out um, what spiced rum what you can do with a spice drum and some of them that i saw they said you can serve it with apple cider and apple um apple cider um apple sauce to put oh, it yeah. in there like a smoothie kind of um this one i could totally see as a thanksgiving like a winter yeah. time as well yeah yeah for sure it definitely smells that way oh let's, this one let's try it let's try That is so different. <coughs> Why does that happen every time? Okay. That's very different. It's very light. It's not heavy at all, but it definitely has, it ha it, it tastes like a spice cake. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. And try not to choke on it this time. Okay. So. Yes. It does, it doesn't does. it? It kind of... So... I bet you you could make a spiced cake and stick this inside. Oh! I know what dessert's going to be. Recipes. No, this carrot cake. Yes. That's what I'm... Yes, it's completely carrot cake. And I hope that doesn't turn people off because it's like the best parts of the carrot cake. You can almost taste the cream cheese. <laughs> Not so much. So... Wow. Okay. You're, you're digging it? Yeah, I actually am. I feel very tropical. I would say fragrance-wise on the nose, if you will, it's... Uh, spice. It's definitely spice. spiced. Yeah. On the palate, it's a little less. It's not as strong as you would think by the way that it smells. I'm not getting as much flavor No, I'm getting as I more get with flavor. Like, Morgan's or... You know, yeah, I'm getting more flavor, but it's a very light flavor. It's not a heavy rum at all. No, not No, at all. it's, it's real. it's, I, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm liking it. Okay. So, and I don't know if it's going to work out what we decided to do. I know. I know. Originally, we, when I was looking, I, we figured a cherry Coke. We're going to do a, slip it up a little bit. So you we're going to do a cherry it? Coke. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try it. Go ahead. All right, we're going to try cherry Coke. Yeah. Because why not? Because that's what... We're doing tonight. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse my measuring, but I want to make, get this right for, for you. Well, remember we're only doing yeah. half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool. Hey, hit it. You know, comment below if you're a Kenny Chesney fan. Tell us your favorite Kenny Chesney song. I want to know. Oh, this is really neat. 
And I, it just no, came out, right? Yeah, they, they said just they released just got it. it. They just got it. Okay. God bless it. I did it again. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Oh, with our new glasses. <laughs> if you saw it the last time. If not, look at episode three, because episode so three explains where these glasses came from. I was making sure it was mine. This one is there. This is the first time we've drank out of these. I know. Drunk out of these. Drink, drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. <laughs> right. Oh, they got a good clinking. Listen they to that. They're very, they're very sturdy. That's really good. First of all, this I'm is a sold. different, this is a different Diet Coke. It's the feisty cherry and I didn't think it would be, but it, that Coke itself has a bite to it, yeah. which is kind of neat. It's a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah. Um, but this is good. This is really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. So blue cherry base spiced and feisty cherry Coke. What do you want to call it? I think you just came up with a, a drink. So what do you want to call it? Let me see. Blue chair. A feisty blue cherry. Yeah. Feisty blue, blue cherry. cherry. Ch C H A R Y. <laughs> feisty blue cherry. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Feisty blue cherry. Woo! This is a good rum. I'm really impressed. There you have it. There you got it. There we go. So Pampero, Anniversario, and Blue Chair Bay, spiced. Give this one a shot. It's definitely, yeah. it's a good one. Um, the Mount Airy Liquors family was saying that they all love all of his stuff. Um, I know. I think now I'm going to go and try some because they've got some like lime and... Not going to lie. Like we haven't had it before. So yeah. So... I'm this really is the impressed. first one that we've tried and it's good and I think we're going to try some more. Very cool. We, we might have a new a new standard. What would you give this? A new, I would give this one I'm giving it a good solid four. Mm. This is a good drink. Very, very cool. Good drink. Very cool. And you? A tiki god. Whoa. I don't know if they have it. Emoji for that. You need to find oh, one. Oh God! <laughs> so thanks for everyone, joining us. Yep. Cheers. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, thumbs Don't up. leave me hanging. Oh. Drink. Okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay, cool. Yeah.